Hey guys, it's Gameface here, and welcome back to episode 108 of my League United career mode. Now, in today's episode, we're going to be playing the QPR match in the league, and then we've got Exeter in the cup as well. So, if we beat QPR, there's a chance we might well go ahead of Newcastle into first place in the league. Um, hopefully, we can get on a little bit better than Leeds did in real life. Uh, the last time that my video went up, the uh, I hadn't actually when I recorded it, uh, the Leeds game hadn't actually been played yet. So, this is the first episode since the Leeds game that I've recorded. And, uh, yeah, losing 3-0 on the opening day is not great. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. Uh, it might actually be that they played Fleetwood um, by the time this video goes out. I think this is due to go out on Thursday, so the game's probably being played. Again, let me know what you thought about that one in the comments below, uh, because that will have happened, I believe, by now. Uh, but anyway, before we get into things, if we could go ahead and hit 25 likes on this video, that'd be really appreciated. Also, if you haven't already, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well. Uh, that'd be really appreciated. Talking of subscribe, this is also the first video I've recorded um, since hitting 4,000 subscribers because, again, the last couple of days have been pre-recorded and happened before I hit that. So I want to say thank you all so much uh, for the support and for subscribing. Uh, I really do appreciate it. And there's obviously that Q&A that might well have gone out by now. Uh, but this is the team we're going to be playing with for the game against QP out. It's a slightly changed team. I've decided to change around the formation a little bit. I've now given myself two options for formations. Uh, I've decided to go with this one for now. So we're going to go ahead with it for this uh, game as well. Uh, as obviously just one or two players I've decided to change around and give a bit of a go. Uh, but against QPI, you, sh you should expect us to win, really. Uh, rather like we probably should have been expected to beat them in real life. And yeah, let's see what QPI have got. Aguero. Back to Entep, and it's 1-0. It started early, 14 minutes in. Lovely bit of play. We've dominated the match so far. QP haven't really done too much at all. We're all over them. We're clearly the better team already. And we're 1-0 ahead as well, which is very good news. A little 1-2 here between Entep and Aguero. A good bit of link-up play. 1-0. The through here. They've got Obi through and doesn't quite hit the target. Long ball up to Aguero, he chests it down, this is straight from a goal kick, Aguero's done brilliantly well, just needs to find a little bit of help here, Dyer's managed to get it, has a shot and it's a good save in the end, we've done quite well to hold on to that, I didn't think Eric Dyer would manage to do it. It's fall of a dockle on his favoured left foot and it's another good save from the keeper. That's it for the first half, still one of the game 1-0, quite a comfortable uh, lead at the moment, they've not really had too many chances, just that one from Obi earlier on, but other than that, nothing really to talk about. Silva, Andre Silva, oh it's 2-0, fantastic finish, not seen much of him at all in this game, but it's 2-0, 30 minutes left, and a fantastic finish there from Andre Silva. I was going to go with the finesse, but I decided to take a couple of extra touches, and it just about worked in my favour, I was tempted to turn and finesse here, uh, but then I just kept on going, found the space, found the shot, found the goal, 2-0. Okay, all three changes now. We are going to quickly just mix things up a little bit. Antonio's going to come on, uh, Taylor's also going to come on, and our new signing Zlatan at centre-back will also come on as well. But we've got uh, Aguero, Eric Dyer, and Yedlin coming off. That means Gordon will move to right-back and cover, uh, obviously, with Yedlin going off. It's 2-1. That's, uh, I think Poulter was it that set him up in the middle there. It's now 2 on 15 minutes left. I'm not too worried. Very undeserved, actually. They've not done too much. That's the first proper chance of the second half. Lee Lucas has won it on the break here. Going to play it through to Silva. Wasn't supposed to go to him, but it has ended up there. Silva, can he finish it off? Yes, he has. 3-1. Wasn't too sure that he did. was about to get his second there or not. Thought he'd gone wide for a second. And uh, we are winning the game. 3-1. Another Paul touch from their player through to Silver again. There's been a few Paul ch touches from QPR players. Dockle just about goes in 4-1. About time he scored as well. He could have got himself a hat-trick in this game. He has been very good. And the, the perfect sort of centre-attacking mid that we've been missing out for for such a long time. And it's about time we start to get a few goals because it has been very comfortable this game. And that was it. Uh, that's pretty much everything, to be honest. Uh, there was pretty much the last touch of the game there. Uh, we've won the match 4-1, got the three points, definitely got our revenge on QPR. Yedlin has said about leaving the club. Basically, in between episodes, I decided to offer him a second contract after he refused the previous one in the last episode. Uh, I sent him a second contract just to see what he would say. Uh, again, seems like um, he's not too interested in signing a new contract. Bit of a shame, he has been here since near enough the start, to be honest, of this uh, career mode. But sadly, it doesn't appear like he wants to continue with us, which is a huge shame, because he was getting a lot of game time. Uh, but luckily for us, we've got Nelson, who's English and can fill in quite nicely for us. 
We still need to try and get in a second right back as well. We've got Exeter now, a game that we need to win. We can't really embarrass ourselves too much in the third round against Exeter. Uh, so we are going to put out a strong-ish team, but still obviously a rotated team. Okay, this is the team that I've gone with. Quite a few changes. Same formation though as we played in the last match. I thought it worked quite well. Grounds goes in goal. We've also got um, De Carmine in a uh, right back. Uh, hopefully he does okay though. He's left footed, but I'm playing at right back, so it's difficult to know how he gets on. Manny on the left, Phillips down the middle, Batiste on the right, with, uh, ooh, not, not Aguero up front. No, thank you. Not in this game. We've got Benicafoe up front. Uh, I didn't realize I had Aguero there, but we will get rid of him off the bench and put Iannaccio on there. That's the bench I've gone with though. It does look quite strong in case we need them. Nelson's on there as well, who might well get a run out in this match. So let's crack on with the game against Exeter. It's obviously going to be a tough game in the cup. I can't really see us losing. Losing this one, but again, it's one of those games where you expect uh, the opposition to come out and they'll probably end up playing really well, to be honest, Exeter. But let's see how we get on. Hopefully, we'll ourselves a win and uh, yeah, try and get through to the next round because I don't really want to have a cup upset here if I can help it. Come on, let's get on to a good start. Try and keep the ball here because I think Exeter will probably come out and they'll probably play like Barcelona or something like that. They'll pass it around. It always happens against the weaker teams. They look much stronger than the Premier League teams to come up against in game, which is quite frustrating, but. We just need to try and keep the ball for as long as possible and uh, make sure that we can find a, a chance to uh, open them up a little bit. And it's 1-0 Exeter. Their first shot, their uh, first attack as well. And um, as I mentioned earlier on, they've started playing well uh, out of nowhere. So uh, yeah, we're losing the game 1-0. It is the first attack um, and first goal as well. So very frustrating. Again... What can you do? This game is just like that. They, they score pretty much every attack that they have, and they don't really have too many of them. Um, but yeah, they score the goals, and um, we're losing the game 1-0. That's it for the first half. Still losing the game 1-0. Um, I think the only chance of I was actually scoring is a long shot now. Um, it's ridiculous when they start doing this. They play it round, and they're better than any Premier League team at the moment, Exeter, in this game, which is ludicrous, absolutely ludicrous, but... That's just the way it is on uh, career mode this year. For some reason, when you come up against the weaker teams, they play better um, than the Premier League teams. It doesn't make any sense. But we are going to have to panic a little bit, and we're going to have to make some different changes because that hasn't worked for us. Uh, we've had one shot, and it was off target. Well, we've had one good shot, I should say, and it was off target. Um, so that pretty much sums up the first half for us. I'll make some changes, and I'll be back once I've done them. Okay, all three changes, Ramirez, Antonio, and Iannaccio will all come on. That means we're going to take off Lowe, Phillips, and Batiste, and uh, see how that goes. Those three players haven't done very well whatsoever, and have really shown the inexperience in this game. So we're going to see how that works out, hopefully much better. Uh, but again, I imagine as the game goes on in the second half, they're just going to put more and more players behind the ball, and they'll probably end up going more and more defensive and put it in the corners, that sort of thing. Mane gets a shot away, Iannaccio won all, okay, a bit lucky there with the deflection, not had too many chances still in the second half, we've managed to get the goal though, it's won all, I don't want it to go into extra time, I don't want to have a replay of whatever happens in the Capital One Cup, I just want to get through, um, so we need to try and get a second goal really with 30 minutes left, got ourselves a corner, just under 20 minutes left, going to try and take it short to Brid Cup, let's see what his crossing's like, not too bad, is there anyone there though, it's going out for another corner, and uh, we need to again try and do a similar sort of thing, maybe try and get it on someone's head this time, that would be better. And it's punched away by the keeper, back in, Benicophobe take a huge deflection! And it's nearly deflected in the back of the net, but I think it's offside anyway. What a hit that was, and uh, yeah, that could have easily have been 2-1. In fact, it's not being given, I think it's just been given as a goal kick. It might not have been offside. Brid cut, into Iannaccio, oh, off the post, Benicophobe's there, can he, oh no. Okay, third time lucky. I think it was third. It might have even been fourth, to be honest. How did he score from that angle on his weak foot? We'll take the goal, obviously. I can't complain too much. Uh, but it is massively unrealistic. 2-1. We're winning the game. We deserve to be winning the game, on based on the fact that it has been a ridiculous game, to be honest, uh, from Exeter's point of view. For them, they've just played like a completely different team, so it doesn't make, really make too much sense. The main thing is that we are winning the game, and we've not really been uh, punished by that too much. Uh, although there is still 8 minutes left, and it looked much better when I scored last time uh, to make it 1 all. Antonio still going here. Can he make it 3 1? It's an awful shot. Terrible shot. Into 19th minute now. 3 minutes added on. This is the sort of chance where you, you reckon they might get a late one here, even though we're throwing so many players forward. I don't know why we're doing that. We're on defensive. I mean, you wouldn't believe it, would you, really, from this uh, defensive display, clearly. Pfft, thought it would have been an own goal there. That was close. 
I'd say we've won the game 2-1, we've gone into the next round, that's the main thing. Again, we'll try and forget the fact that that was the most unrealistic game I've ever played. And uh, yeah, we'll just move on to the uh, next match in the next episode, obviously, because that is it. We've played the two games, and uh, that is pretty much everything for this episode. So, uh, we'll quickly have a look at emails and maybe do some player development, depending on if, uh, well, obviously, if we can this week. Uh, we've got Entep not happy with his role at the club, and Yedlin again talking about the contract offer. He signed. Oh, okay, he signed a new contract. Let's just double check to make sure that is correct, and he's not just saying it, you never know. Sometimes he might want to lie, uh, but yeah, he has, I think, actually signed the contract. It's only a one-year extension, though. I thought he offered him a two-year contract, to be honest, uh, but he has extended it by a year, which is good news, uh, and uh, he now means that we don't have to find a replacement for him, which is very good. Uh, so we will quickly move on to the Newcastle game. We won't obviously play it. We'll save it for the next episode, and uh, we'll quickly have a look at the emails before that. Okay, so no emails to have a look at, but what we do have uh, to look at is the league table. We've got a game in hand, and we're top of the league still. 16 points from 6 games, really good at the moment. We've not lost a game yet. I think we're the only team to have done that in the Premier League, which is great news for us. Uh, we're now starting to e concede even less. Look at that, only conceded 2 goals. Uh, something we struggled with last year was scoring the goals, and we've actually managed to get 10, which is uh, joint second best so far this year, so... This is much improved, definitely. Performance-wise, we've been very good, bar that last game where um, it was just shockingly unrealistic. But we've managed to get ourselves five wins, one draw so far, which is great news. And we've got a game in hand against Newcastle, who are... Uh, where are Newcastle? Oh, fourth. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be an interesting game, quite a competitive match in the next episode, possibly. That is it for this episode, though. Thank you all for watching. If we could go ahead and hit 25 likes on this video, that'd be really appreciated. Also, if you haven't already, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well. That'd be absolutely fantastic. And I'll see you tomorrow for a Tottenham Corona video. And, uh, yeah, that is it. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.